Hey everybody, welcome to the OK Mahler channel. My name is Gary and welcome to episode 16 of the USS New Jersey build. In this episode, I'll be working on the quarter deck of the ship. And first, we're going to go ahead and start working on the NTDS antenna, which is that conical antenna that you see on the front of the ship here. Um, so here is the ponto pieces right here. Uh, there are a bunch of pieces and the instructions are right here. So obviously they make it look easy, but still confusing. I'm still trying to figure out what's the difference between the Iowa and West Iowa, Wisconsin antenna versus the New Jersey, but yeah, I'm not too sure about it. So we'll find out, or at least I'll find out as I continue working on this here. All right, so I got all the pieces that, most of the pieces I should say, uh, for the antenna right here, uh, which is all fine and dandy, is ready to go, all cleaned up. All right, so I have a piece that is slightly bent. I try to bend it back into shape here, but uh, yeah, it's not working here for me. But anyways, it's right here. It'd be hard to see. Anyways, um, this right here kind of flared up right here. Maybe you can see if I get a little closer here. Uh, nope. Okay. So this piece right here just flares right up, which isn't good for something as precise as this piece calls for. So yep chalk that one up for another disappointing results from pontos but hey it is what it is so just like any good person i have a plan b i'll use the kit part right here and i'm sure i could go ahead and mash the pontos piece with the kit piece here and make it look decent but let's go ahead and try to get this put together well, it took me a few days, but I got this, the foundation of the NTDS stand here all done. I'll tell you what, this was really, really hard to do. Um, I almost got to the point that I was gonna use this kit part and I still might use this kit part, but I don't know why Pontos did the way they did it. You're dealing with, you know, some of these supports that they have here. Um, try to show it right like the this little triangular part right here there's a joint in there in these uh the braces right here the brackets right here there's a joint and you're supposed to slide that in there well you know kind of like you know for woodworking biscuit joints and well my biscuits do not fit in these joints in here and i'm not sure exactly why it's like that Maybe it's the way I assemble it, but you know, Pontos instructions aren't very good. So it's, it was quite a struggle. I got like mounds of, you know, super glue to just to kind of get this down and everything. So it was a real struggle. And then on top of that, I don't know why Pontos did the way they did, but um, the the turn pieces that are supposed to go right here well the way they designed it and hopefully you guys can see it here there's a flat end here and then there's a small little joint i'm not sure if you can see it there well you're gonna have to take my word for it but there's a like a little joint right here where these plates up here slide into it's like why don't you just make it flat in the first place? So I just use styrene half rods to go ahead and substitute it as my brace right here. I know for scale purposes, it's not correct, but let's just pretend like it's a padding on a fuel goal post. So with that done for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the antenna portion of it and I gotta get those pieces cut out and cleaned up 
All right, onward. Okay, so I got my, I guess, foundation of the NDTS antenna here ready to go. And, whoops, and I got my pieces all laid out right here. So this is starting from the bottom, going all the way to the top right here. Um, a bell will go on here, but the ship's bell will go on here. There's a little tiny holes in here too, so you can feed the uh, the cabling that goes in here. And that's why I have a little sample right here and just kind of thread it in there and then hope for the best. Now, I'm not sure how this thread reacts to the paint, so I am just gonna do my best and hope that I get it right. Oh, look, I got it. <laughs> okay, anyways. I'm going to go ahead and start gluing all these pieces together and it goes well that's upside down but and then once that's dry then I'll put that on top of that and, and so forth now I do did make a small error here I shouldn't have two of these little small pieces here and one of them just kind of went bye bye so I'm just gonna have to deal with one. Oh well it is what it is all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that. All right, I got the NTDS antenna painted right here. Uh, finally just decided, you know what, even though the garage was 90 degrees, I was gonna do some painting. Otherwise, I wouldn't get this episode out until, geez, maybe December. <laughs> Anyways, here it is all painted and complete and it's looking good, looking good. I don't think I missed anything. So now the next step is to kind of thread some wires in here. It goes, the wiring should go under here and then stick out, go through a hole and go through here. Now it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show a reference picture on there. You can get an idea. But what I'm going to be using for the, the wiring and my rigging is this right here, the black lycra from Infini. Still can't get their name right, but um, you just saw earlier, I can be able to go ahead and thread that in there. So it's pretty stretchy. So I got a lot of material here, so I'm not going to worry about wasting too much, but still, I don't want to waste everything. So let's get working on that. All right. So I got this in the, in the hole in one of the support structures here. So I got one of these in the hole here. All right, so I got one of the threads in the holes and the support right here. Hopefully you can see it. I'm wearing these uh, magnifying glasses, so it's gonna be hard for me to try to get this on film and do this. So hopefully it comes out. If the camera is shaking, my apologies. Go ahead and add all of the glue right here.
all live, folks, so this is what you're seeing. But you kind of get an idea of what I'm trying to do here, whether or not I am able to accomplish that. Who knows? All right, so the glue set in there. Now I need to thread the thread this uh, lycra rigging into another hole on the base right here. So let's see if I can do that right now. I stop keep I'm going to try to do this off camera. All right, and there's the result for the first one. Uh, this easy line is great because you just tug it a little bit and then it stretches. And it, it doesn't lose its uh, elasticity once you glue it and set it in place, which is great because I use this on my Missouri build and I finished that back in 2018 and it has not lost any sort of elasticity, which is great. It's knock on wood, so hopefully. So right now I gotta get this glued and then cut the extra piece out. that for a little bit. There we go. I started out with two inches of the rigging to begin with. Let's see if I can go ahead and Get a nice clean cut here with my, maybe I'll use a, yeah, I'll just use this right now. And so here's how it looks. Uh, it's not perfect, but you know, it works. Um, yeah, so now I got seven more to go and this should be fun. Hopefully it doesn't take too long or I hope that I don't run any more troubles here, but yeah, let's keep the good vibes here, right? All right, I got my NTDS uh, antenna done here, or at least the rigging or wiring, I guess. But here it is, it's looking good. I'm actually happy how it came out. So I ended up putting glue up here first, add the easy line, let the glue cure, and put the easy line so it's set in place, if you know what I mean by that. And then I just pulled on it, put it through the holes here, as well as down here, and it gives this nice, nice uh, consistent shape that we were looking for. So with that done, I'm going to go ahead and start working on uh, putting other pieces 
on the New Jersey. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here is gonna add this piece that goes right over here where the anchors go. And I saw this on the channel, the Model Shed, this particular product. Um, I guess if you use super glue on the wooden deck, it would darken it, I'm not too sure. But I figure if it's good for Steve, I might as well give it a shot and try. Um, attaching the photo edge to a wooden deck here and this essentially what I'm gonna do and I'm, I'm not sure exactly how the super glue will react so I saw this on his channel I figure I'll give it a shot here I know I'm supposed to use a brush but I'm gonna use this toothpick here maybe it helps if you guys saw it too right I'm sure this glue is going to be great on my skin, make it nice and soft. All right, so we got that on there, and it says to wait about six hours for it to cure. Well, dry clear, so, but I think it's going to be fine. I'm it applies on easy and you know compared to you know super glue super glue dries really fast and this one at least you have a little give time so i guess you could use this as a way to use your photo etch and attach it to your to your ship or whatever project you're working on but um yeah we'll see how that goes all right, I'll be right back. All right, so I added a couple of the mushroom uh, vents already. I put one here, here, and here. And I started putting one here, and then all of a sudden I started knocking down some of these supports here. So, well, two of them, one here and another one over here, I think. And that kind of sucks because now it doesn't look great, but you know, it's okay. I guess you could say it didn't look great to begin with when I put it in initially. But I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick repair here, which I already did. And go ahead and put on the other mushroom vent here. If I can get my glue to work with me here. So because I added the decking and then I put glue over the, the holes, it, I had a hard time putting this particular mushroom vent on to these holes. So I just kind of shave the stem off over here a little bit and make it a little thinner so it'll fit in the hole a little bit and I had to shorten it a little bit more too so I can get the desired height that I'm looking for so I'm just going to add this acrylic glue here and then hope I don't botch this up here because I've done a couple practice runs and botched it every time but oh well that's okay. And just shove it in like that. And as the old saying goes, set it and forget it. And just walk away and leave it alone. I keep messing with it all right that's complete and now the next step is I'm gonna go ahead and put these the uh, doors or whatever you want to call those over here add a little, little CA glue here don't need too much since oops sorry since it's a little small here, adjust it before it dries. All right, looks good there.
Perfect. Good enough. All right, so the next thing I need to do is put these uh, ship cleats, I believe that they're called. Um, yeah, sure, whatever. Anyways, um, when I put the wooden deck on here and I took out the molded cleats that the kit came in with, I had to go ahead and drill the holes in here so I can put the new cleats on here, which I painted right here on my little box right here. Hopefully I have enough. I kind of butchered one earlier, but uh, we'll see how that goes. But anywho, um, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on here. And then I'll have to put the cleats on. I earlier did one right here, as you can see right there. They're not glued in yet, but the bases. So, all right, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and move this aside right there. I don't need too much on here because I don't wanna clog the hole up, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Too much, that's okay. in position and then I grab a cleat from my box of cleats and I'll just jam it into this hole here so that way I know that this won't shift around. And try not to lose these pieces on the ground, especially if you have carpet, because, yeah, spend a lot of time on the carpet. All right, so there it is. I got this one to work on, and then I'll let this set, and then I'll go ahead and glue these cleats on later. I'll work on this one off camera okay so I got my I guess whatever bullards and chalks put in these things here and this on on as well um, mushroom vents have been put in so the next thing I'm gonna work on right now is trying to get this anchor chain to go around this and then make it look like it's going through under this. I mean, the best I can do is just cut it short here and make it look like it's the illusion of having it go in there. So that's, that's the idea of it. So that's the step I'm gonna work on right here. So let me go ahead and get my glue ready and get the proper tools so I can cut the chain. I'll be back. Okay, so when I did this last time, it was with the Missouri, and I just wrapped this around like so, and then have it rest roughly like that, and make it kind of look like the illusion that it's going in here. So what I will do is try to guess which link I want to cut. And if I'm a little short, then, you know, that's fine. So I will maybe cut this link right here. Here and just 
kind of maybe tuck it in like that, maybe. Just like that. I think that will be good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that glued down and then work on the other side right here as well. All right, so we're getting closer to the end of this video or this episode, I should say. Next thing I'm gonna do is put these, um, I guess they're for the anchors, the little steering wheels or something. I'm not sure exactly what the proper name is, but here it is, it's all painted, ready to go. And I'll just go ahead and plop each one of them into the respective holes. Um, they're all shaped differently, if you can tell slightly. So this one's a little, kind of more of a triangular versus like a square. So according to the Pontos instruction, they go in a certain order. So I'm gonna grab those instructions and we'll go ahead and put those on the ship. All right, so I think they're called Wildcat controls. So I guess I'll just go with that. All right, I'm gonna be using this glue again, the Ultra Glue from Ammo. All right, so I'll just add a little bit to this and start the center out like that. Been a little over aggressive with the glue right there. Try to get that cleaned up a little bit, or I'll just leave it alone. Maybe I'll do it this way on a second. And just add a little glue. And hope for the best. I'll tell you folks, putting these on here is not easy. Put the glue on the deck and then you cover the hole. You try to, when you cover the hole with the wood glue, you try to get that cleaned up as best as you can. And then when you try to add these on here, they just don't stick very well. And I'm gonna have to attribute that more to user error on my part, so yeah. Make sure that they stay straight. Sorry if my hand's getting in the way. Just keep moving. All right, I'm just gonna walk away on that one. Okay, I think that's the best I can do on that one. Okay, I got these in. They look fine. I'm not gonna touch them anymore. So the next one I gotta do is put this uh, NDTS uh, antenna base on here, which just basically goes like that. Now they're not gonna line up with the holes that I have here because when I put it together, it just, you know, me being me, not, utilizing all the tools that I have here, but that's okay. I just close enough is, is good enough. So it's gonna sit like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the glue on here. And this time I'm gonna be using the, oops, sorry about that, the CA glue here. Make sure I put enough on here, right? Maybe it's just enough to kind of cover the holes up. Now, 
hopefully that will stay in place. Just go ahead and let that set. And I wasn't sure if I showed anyone, but I got the antenna done. Whoop! There we go. With the easy line went on here, so it looks pretty good. I'm not going to go ahead and put this on right away here. I still got a lot of stuff to work on the New Jersey here, and I don't want to knock it down and cause damage. So I'll just go ahead and set it aside and keep it in a nice, safe place. All right, I'll go ahead and let that set. And I think we're almost done. With, I believe we're done with this episode. Okay. The way to finish this front quarter deck here is to finally install turret one on here and it's permanent place. It was a little tight fit there, so I had to make some adjustments, but I'll just leave it on there loosely. And so that way it can turn and stuff like that so my kids can play with it ha 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 so there we go hopefully that doesn't bite me in the end but anyways now that we are done here i can move on to the next stuff but that will be for the next episode next episode i'll be working on this section of the ship here you get some railings get the uh, gun mounts on here a lot of work to go but you know we're getting closer as you can see, this is the dry run right here. So everything's looking good so far. But like I mentioned, a lot of work. Now, there are some things I got to work also is this right here, this uh, gun director here. A viewer told me that I put the wrong one on here. This is supposed to go on the Iowa and uh, Wisconsin and what else? What's the other? Um, the Missouri as well. So I'm going to have to fix that and get these Ponto ones here that I got that came with it, which is the correct one. So that's my mistake right there. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any comments, please list them below. Um, hit that like button. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel. Until then, I'll see you all on the next episode.